Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome to my second video here for Farming Simulator 19 Platinum Edition. For those of you that missed the first video, the reason I'm doing this in segments is because the video would be about two hours long and no one wants to sit through that, so I decided to break it up into segments for those of you that want to see any particular things. So in this one, we are looking at the harvesters. Now, unlike the tractor video, we're actually going to be using some of them, so stay tuned for that. Now, we have four different harvesters in this game, or five, if you had the pre-order of the OC. So this is the pre-order one. I'm not going to go into this because this is not actually part of the pack, but if you did pre-order it, you're going to get this as well. This is the Class Dominator 108. Uh, but moving on to the stuff that actually is in the pack, where should we start? We'll start with the little uh, little Class harvest over here. So this is the Class Takano 580. Now, I've got it unfolded so you guys see what it looks like when it's open. Once again, the same story as the tractors. The amount of detail Giants have included is phenomenal in this pack. Now, I did say it in the first video, but for those of you who never saw the first video, um, the Platinum Edition or Expansions is usually our first insight to the next game. So the quality we're seeing here in this Platinum Edition is usually what we can see or going to see in FS21, I should say. So we've got all the cables and stuff there like that. In fact, let's go ahead and give me a sec. So let's go. We've got all the stickers that we can read here that zoom into here. The stickers are very clear in the HDs. I remember back in the day, it used to be like blurry. Now we can actually zoom in and read these. It's really, really is phenomenal. Heading to the back here, we've got the chutes, the ladder here. Can we use this? Yes, we can. There we go. And we can see right into the tank. Then once again, I got this one open. There's the Argo pipe going in. We little window going into the cab there. Look at the engine. Look at the detail on the engine. Let's get down low here so you can see all this. The belts there, which I've not actually checked to see if they move. We'll go and see if these move in a second. Absolutely phenomenal. So let's go ahead and check this thing out in the store, and then we'll jump into it and do our usual uh, specs and stuff. Oh, that's forage harvesters. Let's go to here. So this is the Tucano 580, starting at £348,000, 381 horsepower, 650 litres of fuel, top speed of 24 miles an hour, and 1,100 litres of fuel capacity. So we've got the Trelleborg wheels, the Michelin wheels, and the Midas wheels. And back to Trader Walk. So we can actually change the setup. So that's all we get. We can only choose the brand, not the actual configuration. So once again, Michelin, Midas, and Trader Walks. I think I prefer the Midas ones, for being honest. A bit of fat. So I usually go for the Michelins, personally. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interior. Pretty basic stuff in here. But once again, the quality and the texture quality and stuff is incredible in here. So we've got the lighting controls up there. We've got our climate control. Looks like a radio, maybe? I'm not sure what that is. Maybe a radio. Um, so actually, go ahead and get it turned on. Got a little uh, where our camera would be for the grain there. Of course, there's no grain in at the moment. Got our key. Our, what is that? Gear set. Let's go ahead and do... We'll clear that. We'll go to... GS Set FOV 30. So we can actually take a look around at the buttons and stuff. Once again, no idea what half of this does. We've actually got phone calls and stuff on this, which is pretty cool. The future is here. We actually have Bluetooth built into our combines. Got our joystick there, which of course moves when we are driving. Uh, can we read what's on the screen? RPMs, of course that's all static stuff there. It'd be cool if one day that uh, works. We actually got some sort of grain stuff there. I don't know, that's highlighting. I'm not sure that we're doing in real life. Maybe you guys can tell me. Got cruise pilot, automatic. Um, we've got a GPS there, of course. No idea what any of these buttons do. We're going to go ahead and do our usual, where we go ahead and do GS set day... Oh, wrong button. Set day time. Let's make it midnight. We've got the lights shining off the screen there, but then we turn the actual lights of the harvester on. You can see the uh, the buttons light up. Once again, we'll do that up here. Off, on, and... It was up here, wasn't it? So, oh, I, I need to zoom out. I can't see it now. Dang it. There we go. So we turn our work lights on. You can see it actually lights up on the indication thing up above our heads. Same with the rear. Turn the rear ones off as well. Of course, you can just turn them all on at the same time. Let's make it daytime again. Now, let's go ahead and... In fact, I'll turn the lights off a second. There we go. Let's go ahead and add some wear to this thing. GS add... A dirt amount. We'll do dirt first. Uh, no, we will. We'll, we'll do wear. Let's do GS add wear amount. Let's do 10. Once again, it's in the places you'd expect. Let's go ahead and fold this thing back up a second. So on the front there, where obviously the grains and stuff's been hitting it. Once again, there where it's been brushing past it. It's all the metal work, basically. Up where your boots are being rubbing up against it. Let's now let's go ahead and add some GS add dirt amount 10. Wow, this thing gets dirty. Look at that. 
This is what it looks like when it's covered in dirt. Like I said, we do actually have some of these ready to go. Now, I'll show you the header for this thing as well while we're here. So we'll go to headers. Once again, this is the Chicano that we're in at the moment, which is this one here. The Vario 770. There's no cu uh, customizable configurations we could have for this thing, but it's 49,900, so basically 50 grand for this. Um, you can unfold it and the cameras come out, and I'll show you that in a second, because we actually have one of these in the field ready to go. Okay, so we're here at a field ready to go right now. We're in a Tucano. Let's go ahead and pick up our header. There's the header trailer for it being carried by our, the 400 series uh, Arion. Let's go ahead and get this thing collected real quick. You guys all know how this works. It works the same as it has on any other combine. Just pick it up like so. Let's get it into reverse. We're going to unfold it. Now you can see, like I said, the cameras are actually on the air. Cameras, are these sensors or cameras? I always thought they were cameras, but I'm thinking now they may be sensors are on the sides of the header there to keep you in line. Let's get that turned on up to the proper RPMs. Let's have a look and see what actually is animated on this thing whilst we do this. You can see everything moving inside here. In fact, can I clip the camera inside maybe? Let's go down here. There we go. We've got our belts move. I'm a bit, a little bit too close. We've got our belts all moving around inside here. All down the side there as well. Take a look inside the grain tank. This might be a bit nauseating me going inside, I do know, but we'll see if anything's are moving. Got the Olga pipe actually spinning there, which is really cool. Let's take a look underneath. What's the proper name for this thing? So we've got the conveyor belt there, which is it. be spitting out the straw, I believe. So we can either shred it at the end there, or of course drop the swath. I believe, judging by the way it's moving at the moment, we've got it in shred mode. In terms of the header, pretty self uh, explanatory on the little squad on here. This has been animated for years, we can see. I don't know the proper name for this thing, but the Alga thing is uh, going inside. I'm just going to call it the Alga thing, why not? And we've got the guidance obviously spinning as well. That's been like that since FS 9, 09. Okay, so we're doing soybeans. So we can't actually see the swath coming out the back, so it's being shredded, as we said a minute ago. So, pretty cool animation. We've got the particle effects coming out the back. Really, well, I like this thing. This is probably the, like at the pack. This is probably the combine I use the most, I reckon. Because if you guys watch my channel, you know I like the smaller or medium-sized stuff. Let's call it. Okay, so staying in the Tucano 580, we're gonna go ahead and move on to its other header. As you can see, we have a corn header for this thing as well. So let's go to corn header. We'll go to the class Coriol 5875 uh, FC. Take a look at this thing. It is six meters long and a working speed of six miles an hour. This thing's gonna cost you 63 and a half grand to buy this header, geez. Let's go ahead and get it unfolded, get the combine turned on, we'll get that unfolded as well. So yeah, this is using the same combine, of course. Just a different header. Let's go ahead and get this thing, you need to first unfold, it's still unfolding, brilliant. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the unfolding animation for the corn header, because it's really cool. Although I am gonna speed it up uh, times 400, so it's a little bit fast. It's a bit of a long animation, but it's a really cool animation, so I'll speed it up. Uh, you won't be able to hear me talk during that, of course. It's just so I can show you the animation. Really cool, so stay tuned. Okay, so there we have it. That was the uh, unfolding animation. I think that's really cool how the teeth pop out like that, personally. Right, let's get this thing turned on. And just as you'd expect, it's a corn harvester at this point. So now the corn's actually being put into the back there. You can see it loading up. And there's the uh, particle effect coming out the back. So yeah, like I said, really do like this thing. It's probably the harvest that I use the most in this pack. I like medium-sized stuff, personally. So with that being said, let's move on to its bigger brother, the Lexion. And here it is. This is the class Lexion 8900. This thing's a beast. We've got the track on the front of this one as well. Or the Terra track, as you can see by the uh, sticker above that there. Got our single rear wheel steering at the back, as you'd expect from a combine. Quite a long pipe on this thing as well. Once again, incredible amount of detail on here. We can see all the pipes, the tubes, the electrical wires. Got a hitch at the bottom here so you can uh, tail your own, uh, pull your own header trailer. Got the shredder at the back there. Ladders where can we get up this thing? So once again, this is unfolded so you can see. It looks a lot smaller inside this thing, but of course it's because it's all around the body. We also have this uh, funnel that we can use as well. This thing holds quite a lot, and I'll show you that in a second. In fact, let's go into the store now and have a look at that. Let's go to Harvesters. Let's go to Lexion 8900. So this is no configurations for this thing, but we have the seven. Uh, we have 790 horsepower, 1,150 litres of fuel, 24 miles an hour, 
top speed and 1800 litres of uh, grain, if you want to call that, grain seeds. Um, and this is almost half a million pounds. So this is definitely for an advanced farm, this one. It's pretty big, actually. It looks a lot longer in here than it does in game. Now we'll take a look at the interior of this. So it's pretty similar to the uh, the Tuscano. As you can see, we've got the buttons are spread out there on the outside there. I'm not going to zoom in on the buttons this time because I don't know what any of them do anyway. So you guys will have a lot better here than I do. We've got our sat nav up there. Our virtual dashboard, which I believe... Is it the same as that one? I think it might be the same as that one, actually. So not too much to look at in here. We've got a... Is that, once again, I don't know if that's radio. I assume it is. We've got the climate control, the lights up there. Here is the unfolding animation, so you can see the ladder actually goes up and then in, not just in. See the top folding in there like that. Let's go ahead and add some, let's clear this one. Let's go ahead and add some dirt to this. GS add wear amount 10. Once again, all the uh, the normal places around the attachment joints, the ladder and stuff like that. Not too much around the engine, which is pretty cool. Of course, you wouldn't spend too much time up there. And the shredder is bound to be pretty scratched up after a while of use. Let's go ahead and add some dirt to this thing as well. And this thing gets very, very dirty, as you can see. All around the front there. Really nice. I like how they've... Uh, it could just be me, but I think it might be higher quality dirt as well. Look at that. It's looked a little bit higher quality. It could just be in my head because it's something new and shiny that we've got in-game. Let me know in chat. Well, not in chat. Let me know in the comment section. I've never noticed that keyhole either. There we go, since so you can open the sides in real life, I suppose. Once again, I have one of these that's set up in the field. Let's go ahead and take a look at that in work. Right, so before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the headers of this thing. So we have the... Oh, that's for the... Uh, that's the pre-order bonus, that one. This is the Convio. I hope I'm saying that correctly. 1230, 83.5 grand here. This has a working width of 12.3 meters. This thing is huge. And a working speed of six miles per hour. Let's go ahead and take a look at... Um, oh, wrong button. Let's go to the corn headers. We'll take a look at the Corio. Am I saying that correctly? Corio? 1275C. This is the corn header for this. Nine meters wide, six mile an hour working speed. This is going to cost you almost eight, uh, 80,000 pounds. And that's actually the one we have hooked up here. So we can't fold this one in half like we can the other one. But we can go ahead and do the cool little teeth animation that we saw last time. Like so. So once they're all popped out, let's go ahead and get this unfolded. See the ladder pops out there. Alga pipe pops out as well. And we'll get this thing turned on. Same as the other one. It's going to be pretty similar to, uh, to the Takano. Just come, come on, you can do it. I believe in you. There we go. Struggled a bit there. I think it was still unfolding a little bit. So yeah, pretty similar to the Takano, just bigger. Um, so this is definitely a multi-purpose one. I can't believe we finally have Alexion in-game. Like in-game Alexion. So cool. Okay, moving on now. We have the Class Jaguar 930. Once again, cannot believe we have one of these in-game. This is my favourite fire harvester. I always try and find a mod for this as I can in previous farm sims. And look how beautiful it is. I love the look of this thing. So this is the Jaguar Dynamic Power Gorge. This, we can see right into the grill there, we've got some sort of tank now. Not sure that would be for you guys can tell me in the chat uh, the comments down below. Got the point there, the uh, try the trailer hitch there. Trailer hitch point. Electrical hookup. I wonder if that actually works. No idea what any of the rest of this does. Once again, I'm not a real life farmer. Let's take a look at the inside. Wow, look at everything. I'm actually going to zoom in on this one. Just do set FOV 30. We'll take a look at some of the buttons there. Once again, no idea what any of this does. We've got the same, I know, we slightly different screen. Got the Jaguar on this one. No idea what any of this means. We've got a digital dashboard once again. Let's take a look up. The light control, the climate control. Oh, that's actually not a radio. Oh, it is. It's got AUX. Looks like some sort of media center, that. Because we've got the phone on it, and also we've got an AUX, lab uh, AUX cable. So maybe it's just like a multimedia center thing. Got windscreen washers and stuff there. Wipers, hazard lights. Oh my god, is that air horns? Oh my god, listen to that. Let me turn. Shut up, Jaguar. Listen to this. So there's the air horns. That is incredible. We can actually see the horns. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this thing in the shop. Let's go to Digital Forage Harvesters. 
the Jaguar 980. So we can have the Midas wheels. We've got the standard, the wide, and that's it. We've got the Trellebogs. We've got standard, wide, back to standard. The Michelins, standard, let me guess. Wide, and then back to standard. So I'll keep it with a Midas now. We've got the 930, the 940, the 950, the 960, the 970, the 980. And that's it. The biggest one we can get is 980, and that one is 884 horsepower. Working speed of 24 mile an hour, or top speed of 24 mile an hour, I should say. Pipe. Now, this is something new. So we can change the pipe size here. So this is the regular one, the standard one. We can have large, and we can also have extra large. Because size of that thing. And then we can also have a short one as well, which is pretty cool. And I did hope you could put a trailer on the back of this thing. There's no trailers in-game that support this currently. So it might be for a mod. You can find a mod that does that, so you can shoot directly into the trailer, pull it yourself. I'll probably keep it standard, personally. Okay, so we actually have a 988. Oh, this is a 930 ready to go up and do some work. So let's go ahead and get the pipe out here. Right, so we're going to go ahead and cover this trailer in the third video. This is the class at Cargos. Uh, this is the smallest one of the two. This is the 750. And we have this hooked up to a Axion 950 if you missed my first video. Now we're going to use a mod to do this little showcase here. Let's go ahead and put you to the side. Maybe not. Right, so we're going to use a mod. We're using follow me to try and do this. So we're going to try and get this follower to push up next to us while we check out the pickup. I'll show you all the attachments in a second for the harvesters, or the forage harvesters. Come on, man. Okay, follow me doesn't seem to like this for some reason, so ignore that. That's not part of the DLC. This is a mod, um, so it doesn't seem to be working. But there we go, you get the idea. So this is the class... Excuse me. You alright though, mate? This is the class 300 pickup, and I'll show you the rest of the attachments we can get now. So let's go to... Am I being blind? Yes, I am. Let's go to Forage Harvest pickup. So starting at the end here, we've got the Orbis 750, which is a corn header. Or corn chopper, if you will. We've got the Orbis 900. There's no customized workshops for this. This one's 7.5, 6 mile hour working speed. This one is 9 meters, so the bigger one. Uh, we've got the pickup, which we have attached right now. This is going to cost you £20,000, or £20,500. Three meters. Of course, you're needing that for a swath, though. And we've got the Direct Disc 500. Now, I'm not going to show you this thing working in a second. We actually have one hooked up to this, ready to go. And there we go. That's all the pickups for the harvest. Oh, now you've decided to. I have no idea why you're going so slow. But we've all lost attention now, buddy. So you can go ahead and clock off. There you go. You're finished. Okay, so moving over here, we have the mower. This is the direct disc, and it's on the trailer that comes for this as well. I didn't actually show you that. So let's go ahead and go to class. Let's look for the trailer. Here we go. Direct disc 500 trailer. Pretty service battery. It's just a trailer for the direct disc. So let's go ahead and get this thing disconnected real quick. We get you hooked up, and we'll see what you like when you're working. I've not actually used this thing yet. This is the first time for me, so hopefully I don't do anything wrong live on video. Tried to touch that a little bit too far away then. Right. Of course, we don't have a trailer following us because we just learnt. Doesn't seem to be working for some reason. That's a mod though, so don't include that in the mod review. Um, let it lower down properly. And we're away. So of course, there's going to be shooting out. It's meant to be shooting out the top into the trailer, but we haven't got anyone following us, so it's not. But seriously, says pretty self-explanatory how that works. You guys know how these work. So this is just the mower for that. No idea what these side bits are for. Maybe you and you guys can educate me. What are these for? They're like hedge trimmers. Yeah, I have no idea. Maybe you guys can tell me. What these are for. Because I literally have no idea. Yeah, baffled. What are these for in real life? Let me know in the chat down below. In the comment section down below. To it say in here? Okay, so I forgot to mention that is actually optional. So this is five meters, and you can turn whatever that is on and off. It's an extra grand. No idea what it's for, though, so please let me know. It looks like a hedge trimmer when it's going on, but... Yeah, no idea, personally. You guys can educate me in the, in the comment section. And finally, we move on to our final harvester. So things just got bigger. This is the 960 Jaguar Terra Track. This thing is a beast. It's actually, like, twice as long as I expected it to be. Um, never seen one of these before, never looked into them, but as you see, we've got the big tracks at the front of here. It's a lot longer than the normal Jaguar. 
And it's got the same amount of detail as the Jaguar, so there's a lot of details throughout. You can read all the stickers and stuff here. Take a look at the pickup there on the front. The interior is going to be pretty much the same, if not identical. There we go. Pretty much identical to the normal Jaguar. It is just the Jaguar cab, I believe. But we've got the Terra Track wheels and stuff on this one. Let's go ahead and take a look at that in the store. Let's go to here. Four Travises, all the way to the end. Jaguar 960 Terra Track. So we've got Mitus. Trelleborgs, this is just the rear wheels that are changing, of course. Michelin's, Midas again. We've got the pipe, same. We've got the long pipe and the standard. Uh, there's no short pipe for this one, which is interesting. Just the long and standard. This one is 626 horsepower, 13,000, uh, sorry, 13,500 litres of uh, fuel, 24 uh, miles an hour top speed. And this is a half a million pounds for this one. No idea what shred large, uh, sh shred large, shred, shred lage. What does that say? Shred lage. No idea what that means. But yeah, we have one of these hooked up, ready to go. So we'll quickly jump through into that. Okay, so I set this up earlier, ready to go. We got the slightly bigger trailer on this one now. As you can see, this is the 760 cargo. So this one is a triple axle. Um, and we've also got the Jaguar ready to go here with the 900 Orbis. So this is the small one, I want to say. I'll have to double check that. But this one unfolds. We'll go ahead and get this unfolded. I'll show the animation on this whilst we do so. Let's get it turned on. Now, I'm not sure this is going to work because, as we just saw, Follow Me seems to be playing up today for some reason. I have no idea why. So we're going to go ahead and ignore that. We won't bother putting it into the trailer. But we'll show you that trailer in the next video. Right, let's go ahead and get this turned on. Let it get to the proper RPMs. We'll start uh, harvesting our corn or shafting our corn, shall we? There you go for the silage makers. I'm assuming you'll probably use this quite a lot when you're doing your silage maps. Of course, the tracks are, it caught me wrong, but it's for ground compaction. This thing's a beast, just skimming through here. Like so, you guys know how these works. I'm just going to show you the animations on this, so the wheels are working pretty nice. I didn't actually show you the wear and dirt on these things. I'll show you that in a second. Um... Let's go ahead and get this turned off. We'll go ahead and do GS at... Oh. Right, let's do GS add wear amount 10. Not too much going on here, just a bit of chips and stuff around the edge where you'd expect it to be. In fact, caught me if I'm wrong, but I believe most of this thing's made of fiberglass anyway, so... Um, not going to be too much to chip on this thing. It's only really the chassis that's made of metal. Once again, caught me if I'm wrong, or tell me if I'm wrong. Let's add some dirt to this, shall we? GS add dirt amount 10. And this is what the thing looks like, dirty. Once again, it could just be me, but I feel like the dirt texture seems to be improved. Although I don't really get things that dirty in FS19, so that could be why. So yeah, that is the uh, the forage harvesters. I'm going to quickly tab back down to the town and show you the pre-order DLC, or the pre-order bonus uh, Dominator Fluji that want to see it. Of course, it's still not too late to pre-order it if you want to pre-order it. There is a link down in the description uh, below. Okay, so I parked it out the back here because, like I said, it's not actually part of the video. But this is the Dominator 108 Maxi. Go ahead and take a look at this thing. Obviously, this one, obviously this one's a bit old school compared to the rest. Not a bit. It is quite old school. Let's go ahead and do GS set FOV30. Got an old school radio, cassette radio up there. Wow. I can't believe we've actually modeled that. That's incredible. We've got a cassette player up there. Some air vents there. Is that a microphone? What is that? A microphone? No idea what that is. No idea what that is. Oh, this is all old school stuff. We've got AC, which is probably this is probably one of the top range ones at the time because it's got AC in it. Uh, we've got our big joystick there. Selection of buttons on there and speeds. Uh, sorry, what do you call them? Switches. Um, we got the. That's the RPMs in front of us. Sorry and. Probably the speed there. Let's go ahead and put the FOV back to 65 so we can see. So the joystick, of course, moves there. Let's get that lifted up. That's what button I was looking for, Sim. Right, let's get this. Should we call the little drive on? Let's try and get the analog gauges moving. There we go. So no idea what that actually is over there. Right, let's show you this thing unfolding. Got the top lifting up there, and that's pretty much it for that. We've got the header as well. 
pretty what you'd expect for this. And we're going to quickly add, do the usual. We're going to add wear amount 10. See, it's actually worn all of the air vents and stuff. That's really cool. Look at the air vents. They've all worn just next to the fire extinguisher. That's really cool. In fact, it's got quite nice wear on this thing. And then we'll go ahead and add some dirt as well. So that's combined dirty. Once again, this is not in the pack. This is the pre-order bonus, and it's still not too late pre-order if you're watching this on the day I've released the video. So make sure you guys do that if you want to do that. It also comes with something else, which I'll show you in the next episode. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Turn that off. So there we go, that was the harvesters. Once again, I'm doing this in different videos so you guys can focus on what you want to see more of. If you guys did enjoy it, please hit my thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more for myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.